Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kbadger.com, here today to bring you another review. Today we're talking pants. These guys right here, which are the tactical distributor, Carlos Ray cargo pants. When it comes to pants, we're looking for a number of different things. One, we want to be comfortable. With that, they need to fit us, i.e. like our body type, not some androgynous like Kindle. Like, we want to fit us. And with that, we're also usually looking for some sort of features, whether it is materials, i.e., hey, I'm going to use it for this activity, so it needs to do X, Y, Z, or to the end of just design elements, i.e., does it have like a gusseted crotch, or does the pocket configuration work with me, with what I like carry every day? And so to that end, looking at these after having been wearing them for probably a good solid four months or so, I definitely have some takeaways. With our checklist in hand, there's numerous things I do really like about these. One, the material offers some stretch to it. That is really nice with respect to comfort. Additionally, we have triple needle stitching throughout most of it, and we have a gusseted crotch. We also have articulated knees, what all this adds up to is the ability to be dynamic in our movement and not tear these or not be restricted by our pants. I wore these actually to a carving course I took out in Florida with Firebase Combat Studies Group. In it, they did a great job for me. Didn't limit me at all with respect to mobility, moving around vehicles, or even kind of fighting through and around barricades. As I mentioned, the material with that stretch it's really comfortable on the skin. It's a cotton twill. And for the fly, YKK zippers, good to go. When it comes to pockets, these have many of them. 11 pockets in these pants. Personally, I think it's probably too many, but it is what it is. Around back, we have this little Velcro field where you would basically have like your tag, like on Levi's or something like that. I don't know why it's there. I don't use it for anything, but it's there if for whatever reason, you need to put a sweet patch right there. And also on the very back, like six o'clock position, there's a wider than normal belt loop. I like this. I think it does a better job than having just one thin belt loop right there because that, especially as you kind of like start moving dynamically, kneel down, this becomes kind of like a pinch point, like your belt's coming around and it's the one place your pants are kind of anchored by your belt. Having said all that, while well, I do like this wider one more than the narrower ones that they use around the rest of the pants, with these five belt loops, much bigger fan of six. So rather than having one in the center, I actually like to have two back here, just kind of spread out a little bit more. Personally, I think it does a better job with respect to basically holding the pants where they need to be with a belt. Again, sample size of one, but personal preference. The other thing, as I mentioned, really important, fit, that it actually fits our body type. For me personally, these pants, the Carlos Ray cargo pants, they do a good job. They definitely fit me. I also wore them in a couple days during a four day precision rifle course with K&M Precision out in Finger, Tennessee. Did a good job for me. Didn't inhibit me if I needed to kind of stretch out, create whatever stable shooting platform I could, kind of unconventional positions, lend themselves to that. And again, they fit my body type. Personally, I like pants to, as far as waist goes, 33 inches. I'm about six foot, 175, about a 33 inch waist. That gives me one, comfortable pants that I can throw a belt on, and two, enough room if I want to appendix carry a pistol inside the waistband. So to that end, what about sizing on these? Well, it's just even sizes. So 30 through, I believe, 40 inches. Inseam, 30, 32, 34, and I believe 36 for you long-legged people. But obviously, not having 33 is an option. Size down. Personally, sizing down seems to be the way to go. 34, just too big, and 32, like they're still comfortable and because of that stretch involved i can go ahead and carry appendix in the waistband no issue whatsoever whereas with 34s which i actually tried at one point there it does work but basically you're belting them down you're like really cinching them down so for me 
if you are a odd waist size, basically you just go down to the nearest even size. The other thing for me personally is that pants basically fit my lifestyle. So what do I need them to do? I need them to carry all the stuff that I carry every day. To that end, over on this side, I got my flashlight. I have, what else do I have in here? A wallet, some chapstick, a fire starting device. Got my lighter from Exotac over here, right here clipped in. I have a pocket knife. I have my field notes pad, also have my Fisher space pin, and usually have my phone right here too. And beyond that, pretty much always have my rat's tourniquet. I do appreciate that while there's 11 pockets and I don't need anywhere near that many, they do have a pocket right here that's pretty handy. It allows me to keep my rat's tourniquet there. It's always on hand. And this pocket here, that's about how deep it is right there. Pretty much, I don't know, about four inches deep or something like that. And about that wide, works really well. Can keep my tourniquet in there. It's made for a magazine. I don't know how many people are gonna just shove a magazine in there. I have done reloads out of it, absolutely does work. And then of course, being cargo pants, we have this cargo pocket here. It's just this little bit of lip as far as over the top of the pocket, giving access to it. And eh, it's about, yeah, more or less the length of your hand, probably about six inches or so down inside there. Sorry, inside that one right there. And you can shove stuff in there. Do I use it? Almost never. What I do like though, again, is these pockets, the magazine pockets, which is handy. You can put your cell phone in there. I usually don't, but I do always carry my tourniquet and it fits in there really well. Another thing I don't care for with these pants though, I will say is on the back, there's two pockets here. There's basically a smaller one, size to basically fit AR mag, and then this larger one. What are these good for? They're really good for putting something in your back pocket, reaching to grab it, and then finding it's not in the pocket you're reaching into. Honestly, I always just get confused. I'll throw my car keys in here because I'm like, hey, I'm gonna need my car keys in a second. Just throw them in my back pocket. I reach back there and I'm like, okay, I feel them. Nope, my hand's in the wrong pocket. They do nothing for me. Having said that, sample size of one, just don't really care for back pockets like that. The other thing I don't really care for that much with these pants is the pockets. That's about how deep they are. Personally, I would rather them go deeper Again, going back to the idea of how you use them, everyday carry. I'll have my field notes, phone or whatever. And if these are in my pocket, but I don't seat them all the way to the bottom, what can happen is if they're up a little bit, when I go and move, basically they'll bind up. So I have to make sure it's pushed all the way to the bottom. Otherwise it'll basically bind up in the hip crease and is it a showstopper? No, it's just not terribly comfortable and you have to shove it back down rather than just a little roomier, deeper pockets. Having said all that stuff, I do like these pants. I wear them all the time. They're great pants, they're comfortable, and when I'm like, hey, there's too many pockets, you know what? They have pockets where I need them to be, to carry all of my everyday carry items to include my tourniquet. Comfortable pants, good for everyday use. Price-wise, pretty fair. About 62 bucks for a pair of pants. As far as colors go, these are their, I believe it's their urban dark gray. They also have a flat dark earth, those two different colors. And yeah, they're pretty rad. If you wanna pick some up, you can get them directly through Tactical Distributors. And if you happen to enjoy my content, want to support my content and save money picking up these or anything else through Tactical Distributors, as well as a bunch of other great companies. You can either sign up for the Badger Den, which gives you exclusive access to a bunch of great discounts with companies I've vetted to include tactical distributors, or by supporting me through Patreon at the $10 a month tier, also gives you access to the Badger Den, allowing you to pick up all that stuff at pretty sweet discount. But if you pick some up, let me know how they do for you. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Find an invention